Hey, how you doing there? Henry Olsen here from Super Simple Guitar and welcome to another 5 Minute Friday. Short and simple little lesson that you can take, make your own, and have a lot of fun with over the weekend. So today we're going to be checking out this timeless piece of music. Right, that we all know and love. And the cool thing about what I'm going to be showing you is that we're going to be playing it using open chords. So it's going to be very easy, even if you're a beginner, to kind of get this under your fingers and have that nice success feeling of actually hearing that you're playing the song. You know, the original is very challenging to play. And this way you're going to be able to actually play it and have people recognize it and have a lot of fun with it, okay? So we're not using a capo in this lesson. And that's just because I want you to be able to play it even if you don't have a capo. I recently made a video on TikTok with the capo on the first fret. It sounds really nice with the first fret capo. And you can play around with that, but I'm just going to do it without a capo for this lesson so it's easy for you even if you don't have one to follow along, okay? I also have a free tab for you. So if I'm going too fast or you want to really be able to sit down in peace and learn this, there's a tab underneath this you know, video. Okay. So let's get right into it. Let's get into the close up. So we're basically playing a G here, but we're, what we're doing is we're adding in this note on the second fret. Okay. So that's the second interval of G, right? Call it a G nine, call it whatever you want. Let's not worry about the names. So what we're going to be doing is just holding that down and then doing this really nice little finger um, pattern, fingerstyle pattern that's going to make it sound great. So that's on that G. So six, four, three, four, two, three, four, three. Again, I'm going to have that tabbed out. Okay. Then second time around, same thing. But now in that last three, I'm going to lift off this finger, which is going to give me an open third string. Then that's going to take me perfectly into this really cool E minor thing here, okay? And you'll hear this also in Breathe from Pink Floyd. It's a nice mystical sound. I love the sound of this chord. So it's E minor again with that ninth in there, the second interval, which is making it sound really cool. And now we're going to play it like this. Slow down a little more. So six, five, four, five, three, four, five, four. Again, there's going to be a tab, okay? Okay, so all together. We're going to go into a C major, simple stuff. And then we're going to add in that little ninth in there again. Okay, so that's five, four, three, four. And then adding in the pinky, releasing the pinky. Okay, so. And then three, two. Okay, then D sus two. So. So that's. Um, four, three, two, four, one, two, three, two. Okay. Back into the G. And then that's how we're going to end it. Okay. And then it starts over from the beginning. Okay. So let me play it through one more time very quickly, uh, very slowly for you. Excuse me. Not quickly, not quickly, slowly, just so you can really, again, get it in your ear and kind of see what my right hand is doing. And then again, the easiest thing is just get that tab. It's totally free. You will be added to my email um, newsletter, but just unsubscribe if you don't want to be a part of that. I won't spam you and you're going to get just videos like this 99% of the time. Okay. So let's just do it slowly on that G. Okay. How nice is that? 
How nice is this guitar sound? It's a fork. I love this guitar. I'm not sponsored. I kind of wish I was because I love the sound of this guitar. So anyways, if you want to see more lessons like this, there's one right here. Also, don't forget to subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. That really helps me with the old YouTube algorithm. And I'll see you again with another 5-Minute Friday next Friday. All right. See you then. Bye-bye.